What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. With democracy rapidly dying and monarchy well on the way, Donald Trump is slowly fading away from being our president to becoming our queen. Queen B, that is. Does that make Mike Pence America's princess? He really is a wonderful first lady to this country. He's always so modestly dressed and loyal to our queen. But the GOP has been hijacked and become the GOC, the grand old cult. The former chairman of the Republican National Committee, Michael Steele, said himself that in order to fight for the future of the GOP, it starts by defeating President Trump. In 2020, we're no longer elephants and donkeys. Democrats are called sheep for following guidelines, laws, science, and facts. And Republicans, who are still voting for Trump with their terrifying hive minds, have become bees. This election year, it's bees versus sheep. In a beehive, the queen fertilizes eggs to create more workers. Drones fertilize the queen, and workers do everything else like defend the hive. Much like Trump, fertilizes racist, homophobic, and misogynistic ideals to create more Trump publicans. Greedy corporations fertilize Trump's campaign and the Trump Republicans defend their cult. We've all seen this hive mind in action. A group of people who carry out the objectives of their leader, they all think and act the same as if they're the same individual. That colony of bees with the assault rifles, Confederate flags who scream and spit in others' faces, the ones who have tantrums over face masks, drink bleach, ignore facts, love the n-word and spread hate in COVID-19. It's America's scariest cult, the red hive. They'll fly a Trump flag before an American flag because it's Trump first, not American. America. Cults always begin with a leader who claims supreme knowledge. A cult leader convinces their followers to eradicate their critical thinking ability. Not that it was hard with this bunch. They have the same amount of fucking brain cells as they do teeth. Being in this cult gives them a sense of belonging, authority, and purpose. That purpose in this case would be the safe continuation of white supremacy that this country was founded on. Because to them, they may not have intelligence, but at least they have white skin. It's been proven time and time again that it doesn't matter what facts are provided that prove that Donald Trump is an evil authoritarian. With a cult, the leader will always be right. The wrongdoings will always be justified, and criticism of the leader will always be fake news. A cult leader is above the law, relies on thought reform methods, Methods, delegitimizes former members and has no financial transparency. I'm still waiting on those tax returns of yours, President Manson. Trump. I always get them mixed up. Charles Manson was head of a cult. He loved Nazis and it's been said that he wanted a race war and Trump, well, he's head of a cult, loves Nazis, and it's sure looking like he wants a fucking race war to me. Anyway, the cult views critical thinking as an infectious disease and that's not to be mistaken with the infectious simple flu virus, Kefefe 19, COVID. Every effort is made to suppress facts. Anyone who doesn't believe every word on Fox News is called fake, or if he's talking about a woman, nasty. And to make things even more culty, Trump wants Amy Coney Barrett to be on the Supreme Court. You know that woman who is in a cult? And I'm not talking about the Catholic Church. She's a lifelong adherent of the people of praise. It sounds culty as fuck to me. It's a Christian group with a highly authoritarian internal structure. Authoritarian seems to be an ongoing theme here. Amy Colty Barrett has issued a number of cult conservative, conservative rulings that boldly show her views on guns, abortion, sexual assault, and immigration. Grab your red dresses and white bonnets, fuckers. We were hoping for a fairy tale, but it looks like we're getting the handmaiden's tale instead. Blessed be the fruit. When a bee stings, it dies. If you vote for Trump, you're a bee. And when you sting democracy, you're killing your rights, your freedoms. In November, will you choose a cult or your country? Get the fuck up and vote blue. Resistance does not have to be futile. End the red hive. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're buzzing to the polls for Queen Donald and our lovely First Lady Princess Pence.